A lot of people seem to believe that racial discrimination has minimized almost entirely. And whether they believe it or not, many tend to dismiss the idea that it's happening right in their own community. This is because most discrimination that occurs today is passive or microaggressive. Outright acts of discrimination are illegal, leaving people to resort to less conspicuous aggressions towards people of color. Where does this happen in Athens, you may ask? The accounts are endless. We were in Target in Athens, the Target on Atlanta Highway, and um, my mom was just struck up a random conversation with this lady there, and she was just saying, yeah, and my son goes to UGA. And then she looked at me and she was like, oh, what sport do you play? Forbes reported that in the 2016-2017 academic school year, only 8.1% of UGA's student population identified as black. However, our big athletic teams reflect an entirely different racial demographic. Because of this, many black students like Chris are often assumed to be a student athlete. So hearing like, oh, like you go to UGA, so what sport do you play? It's like, oh, I didn't get in here because of my grades or because of like my good application. I got in here because I'm good at sports and I'm an athlete. And it's like, that kind of made me feel pretty, pretty down in the dumps for a little bit. But racism is even enforced by businesses in Athens. Black people often get denied from bars due to dress codes, which are tailored to prohibit clothes that are popular within black culture. When I go out sometimes, I wear a gold chain that I pass as I was a baby. My mom got it for me. It's a cross and it's just important to me. It has symbolic reasons because I'm Christian. Just I've had it forever. And um, I know I'll go into some bars and try, or I try to go into bar some bars and I'll get rejected because I'm wearing a chain. They'll tell me, oh yeah, no, you can't get in because you're wearing a chain. The most astounding fact, though, is that racial discrimination is even found within our own university. Alex Pickney describes a study her class was discussing where amnesiacs chose political candidates based on their photos without actually having any awareness of their political views. My teacher asked the class, um, or he said to the class, um, you know, these people, the, the pictures that they chose were, um, were pretty becoming. Um, of, of each of the candidates. I mean, they picked these pictures from a law website. It's not like they picked some people with dreadlocks. And immediately I was like, okay, how do I, how do I go about this? Because here is me, a female, black, undergraduate student, um, and I hear a racist comment from my male, white, doctoral teacher, professor. Um, but he said something really problematic. Um, I don't know anybody with dreadlocks who is n who's not black. You know, it's very much a, um, a black thing, and um, it had very negative implications. No one should ever have to face racial discrimination. Instead, we should embrace our differences and celebrate the fact that we can love and respect each other despite them. Because, after all, there is only one race, and that is human.